Hey everyone, welcome back to the Auto Corner Pros channel. In this video, I will explain what are vacuum leaks, how they affect engine performance, and how to spot the telltale signs of vacuum leaks before it's too late. When the piston moves downward in the cylinder, a vacuum is created. This allows air to enter the engine after passing through air filter, throttle body, and MAF sensor. If there are cracks or gaps in vacuum lines or other components, air can suck into the engine without passing through the MAF sensor. This unmeasured air is a vacuum leak. The ECU can't determine how much extra air entered, so it won't correct the fuel injection amount. This causes a lean mixture due to extra air, making the car run rough. One of the most common symptoms of vacuum leaks is a rough or fluctuating idle. A vacuum leak allows unmetered air to enter the engine, disrupting the precise air-fuel ratio. This causes the engine to run erratically, resulting in a rough or fluctuating idle instead of a smooth, consistent idle. Another telltale sign is difficulty starting or stalling. Have you ever tried to start your car, but it just won't catch? Or maybe it stalls out when you're stopped at a red light. A bad air-fuel ratio due to vacuum leaks results in inefficient combustion. The fuel may not burn and produce desired power, which causes engine stalling. Poor acceleration and loss of power are also red flags. The unmetered air entering the engine due to a vacuum leak can lead to a lean air-fuel mixture, which means there's not enough fuel to properly combust with the available air. This results in a loss of power and poor acceleration. But that's not all vacuum leaks can also lead to decreased fuel efficiency and increased fuel consumption. When there's a vacuum leak, the fuel doesn't burn completely, and the engine doesn't produce enough power. Because of this, the driver has to press harder on the gas pedal. To meet this increased demand for power, the ECU needs to inject more fuel than it would normally need without the vacuum leak. This extra fuel consumption reduces the car's fuel efficiency. And let's not forget about that check engine light. If it's illuminated and you're getting engine codes related to misfires, lean conditions or emissions issues, a vacuum leak could be the underlying cause. Finally, keep your ears peeled for any hissing, whistling, or sucking noises coming from the engine bay. These audible clues could be the telltale signs of a vacuum leak that's letting in unmetered air. Cracked or damaged vacuum hoses and lines are frequent culprits of vacuum leaks. The rubber lines can become brittle over time, especially when exposed to engine heat. Even a tiny crack or hole can disrupt the vacuum system. Loose or faulty hose connections can also cause vacuum leaks if not tight and secure. Deteriorated or dislodged intake manifold gaskets can allow air to seep through. Components like the brake booster, EGR valve, and PCV valve can develop leaks. Cracks or gaps in the intake manifold or engine block itself can create pathways for unwanted air to enter the vacuum system. To diagnose a vacuum leak, use spray tests. Spray the brake cleaner or a propane torch around potential leak sources and watch for changes in engine idle speed or RPM. If the engine revs up, you've likely found the leak. For stubborn leaks, use smoke testing. Introduce smoke into the vacuum system and watch where it escapes to detect hard-to-find leaks. If you continue to drive with vacuum leaks, they can contribute to problems like misfires and lean conditions, which can ultimately lead to costly repairs or even the need to replace your catalytic converter. In many cases, you can simply fix vacuum leaks by replacing damaged vacuum hoses or lines. For significant vacuum leaks, you might need to tackle bigger components like intake manifold gaskets, vacuum brake boosters, or EGR valves. For minor vacuum hose replacements, you could be looking at anywhere from $10 to $50, depending on the specific parts needed. But if you're dealing with larger components like an intake manifold gasket, you could be looking at $200 to $500 or more, especially when factoring in labor costs. If you want to learn more about this topic and other causes that affect vehicles' performance, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Please comment down below if you have any questions and be sure to subscribe for more car repair tips. Thanks for watching.